In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh!'s past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Well, folks, we are back, back out of the Shirt of Shame, back into a Tide series, and back again with another episode of the History of Yu-Gi-Oh! about Edison format. First of all, I would like to thank you all for your generosity on the petition. I certainly hope the Dueling Book takes note, because that would make our next two weeks a lot easier. So why are there eight new decks on the wheel? Well, like I said last time, there are two forms of Edison format. The historic Edison format that was played at SJC Edison, and the modern Edison format that has been developed since. Like GOAT format, a group of extremely dedicated players have tried to break this thing for almost a decade, and they've largely been successful. Every one of the archetypes you see on here was nowhere to be found in Edison proper, but has emerged since as a power player. This episode, we're going to take a look at the modern Edison after taking a look at the historic one last episode, but what happens next is up to you. Would you like to see another episode with the decks represented on this wheel? Would you like to see another historic one? Would you like to see a curated match between the titans of the format as it existed? Let us know in the comments section below and we will do our best to abide your terrible opinions. On to the wheel. So on here we've got eight different decks with eight disparate strategies. Frogs makes use of the fact that Substitoad is a three. Now there's no Ronin Toten, but it's still very good for Monarch strategies. Vayu Turbo uses Blackwing Vayu to make Blackwing Synchros. It was splashed in Blackwing at the time, but never the center of its own deck. Quick Draw Volcanic is just like the Quick Draw decks that are currently capping the format, except it sends Volcanic Shell to the graveyard instead of plants. Fiend Calling. It plays Puppet Master, unironically and aims to use a series of 5Ds monsters in order to make Dark Gaia. Diva Hero, this is the one I'm hard rolling for. Dragons, this one is a whole bunch of recruiters that end on Koakai Mairu Draco, which is a very powerful anti-meta card. Fairies plays Christia and Dimensional Alchemist. Fish OTK plays Deep Sea King Coelacanth, and I'm a little practiced with that one. So that or Diva Hero is really what I'm looking for. We've got three spins, I will spend them doing my best. Ah frustrating. Bayou Turbo is really cool. It's a sick deck, but I don't want to play it over these other ones. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. You know, last episode probably didn't go as well as it could have. I definitely missed a lot of opportunities watching it in retrospect. I kind of just forgot Necro Valley has another effect, and... Yeah, definitely could have played it better. In my defense, I've never played this format before, so, you know, jumping into it for the first time, you know, there's going to be some mistakes. But that's the fun of it, right? I think it's so cool to experience an old format like this with fresh eyes for the very first time. And looking at this wheel today, oh boy, do we have a treat in store for you guys. So Joseph and I had decided to take a new approach to the wheel because the other wheel, once you remove the wedges that we played in the last episode, there's a lot of light sworn decks. There's a lot of decks that we've already seen before, Gladiator Beast, Blackwing, and so this is actually eight brand new decks that we have just never touched before in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! All of these actually very playable. These were more recent discoveries once players went back to Edison and actually started developing the format a bit more, and all these look like a blast, right? I mean, I'd be happy to spin any of these, and so Joseph and I thought before we end on Edison by actually showcasing some of the best decks of the format going out in spectacular fashion, we want to visit some of the other options that were available. So, unfortunately, Unfortunately, we are in the shirt, so I only get two spins, so I get this spin plus a respin. Let's see what we get for the first one. Ooh, quick draw volcanic. We are going to see some quick draw at some point once we play what is considered to be one of the best decks of the format, the deck that ultimately did win SJC Edison. So kind of want to 
gonna save quick draw for that. I'm not gonna lie. This is my last spin though. So hopefully it's a good one. Uh, you know, it could also just be the same thing. There's a one in eight shot, eight different decks. Let's see where we end up. Wheel slowing down. Oh, okay. All right. So here's the list. This is James Arks Fish. Now, if you've been following my Twitch, you know that I've been practicing Edison format for the last couple of weeks in preparation for these three or four episodes, and this is the deck that gave me the most pause. It is very difficult to play. Not intuitive at all. The idea behind it is that the frogs form a very powerful backbone for tribute summon strategies. Now, usually that translates into stuff like Ryza and Caius but it doesn't have to. It could also translate into Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth, one of the most powerful individual cards that nobody is playing. Once per turn, you can discard a card to special summon as many level four or lower fishes from your deck as possible, but they can't declare an attack and their effects are negated. This means you can get Oystermeister, Fishborg Blaster, Royal Swamp Eel, and Metabo Shark, among others. You can use these to go into really powerful Synchro Monsters, which do not have to abide Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth's restrictions. There's really easy lines to Mistworm, to Red Dragon Archfiend, to Colossal Fighter, even to cards like Brianak Dragon of the Ice Barrier, provided you jump through some hoops. Outside of that, there are a bunch of really strong frog synergies. You're not playing back row, so Treeborn Frog is almost always available. Substitute is an incredibly powerful summon that you can find off of one for one. Dumping your whole deck and then using Pot of Avarice to recycle your hand is really, really strong. And Cold Wave, True Nade, and Heavy Storm are all at one, which form a three of that prevents your opponent from interacting with you. This is a horrifying deck list, and I could not be happier to play it. Unfortunately, nothing is going to do this justice but actually playing the games, so we'll jump into them as quick as possible. I'll just give you a little rundown on the individual cards. Battle Fader is free tribute summonable fodder and ends the battle phase. Triple Dupe Frog, you can assemble the dupe lock super easily and force your opponent to out it. If they don't, you just wait until you get to Super Ancient Deep Sea King Coelacanth. Double Fishboard Blaster, Flip Flop is the payoff for the dupe lock and also another frog name. Gorzy Emissary of Darkness is two tributes on his own. Metabo Shark is a four that is not a tuner, and when you normal summon it, you can shuffle fishes from your graveyard back into your deck. Two Meister, one Swamp Eel, Triple Toad, uh, Triple Coelacanth, Triple Swap Frog, Double Treeborn Frog, and a Unifrog for corner cases. We've also got a Brain Control, a Cold Wave, two Enemy Controller, Giant Trunade, Double Gold Sarcophagus. The games go long, so you can always find your Coelacanth, Heavy Storm, Moray of Greed, One for One, Pot of Avarice, and Salvage. In the side, we've got Sidra, Dark Dust Spirit, Lad, Mobius, Double Snowman Eater, Lightning Vortex, Mystical Space Typhoon, Double Soul Release, Double Twister, Torrential Tribute, and Trap Dust Shoot. Extra is Chimera Tech. Armory Arm, Ally of Justice, Cataster, Magical Android, Brianak Dragon of the Ice Barrier, Goyo Guardian, Tempest Magician, Arcanite Magician, Black Rose Dragon, Blackwing Armor Master, Colossal Fighter, Red Dragon, Archfiend, Stardust Dragon, Thought Ruler, Archfiend, and Mistworm. The easiest way you're going to be able to OTK is by going into Swamp Eel, Metabo Shark, Fishborg Blaster, Oystermeister, while your opponent has a monster on the field with 1800 or more attack, then using the Fishborg Blaster and the Oystermeister to go into an Armory Arm, equipping the opponent's monster with an Armory Arm, using the Swamp Eel and the Metabo Shark to go into a Colossal Fighter, and repeatedly bashing into your opponent's monster, burning them for 28 every time. It is a very silly OTK, but it does the job. Okay, let's jump into the games. Okay, hold on, hold on. Before you say anything, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Simo playing Black Wings again. Here we go. What a surprise. Take a look at this deck. This does not look like your typical Black Wing deck. Do you see Kalut anywhere? Do you see Whirlwind anywhere? Because I don't. It uses the Black Wings for utility in Vayu, the Emblem of Honor, one of the newest released cards. And as you can see, we're playing a total of six Black Wings in the main deck. So I don't think this really constitutes a Black Wing deck. It has a lot of other good things going for it. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's duel. I am super excited because there's going to be a lot of fun shenanigans afoot here. So let's go ahead and do the card by card. Ideally, what you're trying to go for is you're trying to get Blackwing Vayu, the Emblem of Honor, into the graveyard as quickly as possible. This card has an effect that says you can't use it as synchro material while it's face up on the field. However, if it's in the graveyard, you can target a non-tuner Blackwing monster, banish both this card and that target. And if you do, special summon a Blackwing synchro from your extra deck whose level equal the total, but the effects are negated. The only target we have for this is Sirocco the Dawn. So if we get Sirocco and a Vayu into the graveyard, we can banish both for a level six synchro. That allows us to go into Armed Wing. However, once Armed Wing hits the grave, if we have another copy of Vayu, we can tune this and the Armed Wing to go into Armor Master. Then if Armor Master hits the grave with the third copy of Vayu, we also have ways to get it back, like with Burial from a Different Dimension, we can actually go up into Blackwing Silver 
Silverwind the Ascended. So lots of cool plays that we can do here. It allows us to put a lot of pressure on the board. At the very least, it allows us to use the Arm Wing as a synchro material for some of our other level eight synchros in here, like a Stardust, a Thought Ruler, a Colossal Fighter. And so by having this level of utility, it's using the Black Wings in a much different way than we've seen before. So because we're trying to get this into the grave, that's why we're playing cards like Armageddonite to dump the Black Wing Bayou or the, you know, Plague Spreader Zombie for utility there. Gale's just a great card all around, so there's no reason that we shouldn't be playing it. The two Sorokos are obviously for the three copies of Vayu. We don't need anything else. Caius is just an all-star, just synergizes with the deck very well. We have the Card Trooper. Card Trooper's great, because guess what? We want to mill like half the cards in our deck, and we want to get to Vayu as quickly as possible. We also want to mill these Sorokos as well. We don't exactly want to see them in our hand. One Cyber Dragon, a Dark Arm Dragon, because of course we're on a Dark Focus deck. And two copies of Dark Greffer. Dark Greffer is one of the most idealistic cards in the deck, because if we have Dark Greffer Sirocco, we can pitch Sirocco, then send Vayu, and we're basically off to the races. We saw the normal summon at that point. We can do a lot with Dark Greffer in this strategy. Of course, we have a Necro Gardener because we are milling a lot, the Plague Spreader, and three copies of Raiko. Not only is this going to give us value if we get the Vayus and the Sirocco's in the grave, but we get to pop Joseph's cards as well. One Sangin and Super Nimble Mega Hamster to round out the monsters. This can get us to a Raiko, so basically it's just going to give us fodder for stuff like Caius, but also remove threats in the process. For the spells, Allure of Darkness, our deck's almost entirely dark. Two Book of Moon, Brain Control, Barrel from a Different Dimension, only one Charge of the Light Brigade, Heavy Storm, Mystical Space Typhoon, and Reinforcement of the Army, and the Traps, two Bottomless, a Mirror Force, two Royal Oppression, Solemn Judgment, Torrential Tribute, and Trap Dust Shoot. For the side deck, we've got a lot of different cards going on here. Another copy of Cyber Dragon, maybe because of all the Machina gadget decks running around, so that way we can more easily access Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, but because we also do a lot of synchroing, getting an extra five-star monster on the field is pretty nice, especially if we can tune it with something like Gale. Two DD Crow for the graveyard-oriented decks, one copy of Gore, so that way we can take Joseph by surprise. Two Vanity Sphine for the very special summon heavy strategies, and two copies of Deck Devastation Virus. This is another big advantage of a card like Vayu, because turn one, if we can get set up, we can actually get Armed Wing on the field. That makes Deck Devastation Virus live, and a lot of the monsters in this format are actually very little, so Deck Devastation Virus can be game-winning by itself, and when we know we're going first, I am going to side this in and give it a shot. Two Deep Prison, two Dust Tornado, two Light Imprisoning Mirror, and a Mind Crush rounding out the side. And the extra deck, we've got the Fortress Dragon, the Ally of Justice Catastrophe, Black Rose Dragon, Silver Wind, three Armed Wing, three Arc, excuse me, two Armor Master, Brianak, Colossal Fighter, Dark and Dragon, Goyo Stardust, and of course, Thought Ruler Archfiend. This is going to be a ton of fun. I am so looking forward to see what this deck is able to do. Also curious to see what Joseph brought as well. Let's hope it's not a mirror match, but ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Joseph, I am so excited for this. This is going to be a blast. I was honestly excited to play almost every deck that was on the wheel. And uh, judging by your sleeves, oh boy, this is going to be interesting. How are you feeling, buddy? Alex, if this is a mirror, we're going to have to restart. I mean, this is... <laughs> This is going to be one of the least exciting mirrors since yesterday's episode of History of Jank, I think. Oh, Could be my anything. God. Could be anything. I certainly hope it is anything. There's so many different possibilities. Mm. What are the chances mm. that it's a mirror match, Joseph? Mm. Why don't we just go to Rock, Paper, Scissors and find it out then? What do you think? Why don't we? That sound good? Uh, let's shout out our patron. It's Josh Markling. Thank you for the support. How many refreshes are we doing, buddy? How many refreshes? Give me zero refreshes. Just go ahead and pick what's on the screen. You might want to pick again, buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm confident. You sure? Oh, yeah. I'm. Oh, I'm positive. Okay. okay I was actually not confident at all. God dang it. Ah, uh, okay, fine. No big deal. That's one for the highlight reel for sure. All right, I'll go first. Uh, good luck, buddy. I'm glad to hear you're going first. Uh, maybe it's oh. not a mirror. Holy guacamole. This is going to be fun. I'll draw. Yep. Uh, we'll go to main one. I am just going to do a nice, simple set three. Uh, hmm. Let me think about this, actually. Hmm. Let me actually take this back. I jumped the gun a bit here. Let me activate Charge of the Light Brigade oh, first. Oh, thank the Lord. Okay. Yeah, you're welcome. It's oh, fine. of course. Of course you are on Vayu Turbo, you little <laughs> penis breath. Oh, of course. Not surprising at all. I had to see if I would mill the Black Wings to get your reaction. To be fair, Joseph, this deck plays six Black Wings, so I wouldn't call this a Black Wing deck. Yeah, that's slightest. what is just really exciting about Vayu Turbo is that historically everyone was like playing as many Black Wings as they could and then like, oh, you know what? Jam Vayu in there as well. Why don't you? But it turns out Vayu's good right? enough on its own. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I'll 
said card. Could be anything. Could be anything. I will dust shoot you here as well. I need to see what you're working with. Good luck, buddy. All right. This is going to give it away if the card back didn't. Behold, fish. Fish OTK. Like, I'm looking at this, and it's not even going to matter because I could shuffle anything back, and you just moray your whole hand. This is so, like, it, I feel like it does more. not matter in the slightest. Um, Just pick the uh, the swap or the treeborn. I'll keep the remainder and then moray the rest. <laughs> Simplify this. Oh, my God. I don't know. All these cards are very good. I'm going to get rid of the swap. Swap just at least gets you started. All the rest of these are kind of like utility based. So swap frog it is then back to the top of the deck it goes. And uh, I know this is going to be surprising, dude, but uh, I'm going to fire off this Moray of Greed next. Shocker. Wouldn't have expected it. This card's always been so cool to me. The fact that you just get to reset three cards in your hand. You know, I like it here because it helps me after a bad dust shoot. I cool. actually think this card is massively overrated. I think it's one of the worst draw spells of all time that every one just plays because it says draw three cards. I agree. All right. I, th I think that's a good argument as well. All right. So what are we getting rid of? Oystermeister and Fishboard Blaster. Keep it the tree board. Okay. This is a hard hand. All these hands are hard. Okay. One, two, three. Let's go swap. Could be frog, anything. Summon. Could be anything. Sure, that's fine. We'll trigger the effect of swap frog. I'm gonna. We got it back. A treeborn frog to the grave. I'm gonna return swap frog to my hand. I'm gonna perform Sounds my good. normal summon. You're gonna dump your third treeborn while you're at it. Uh, ooh, that'd be kind of sick, right? Um, not playing three, unfortunately. I will be sending uh, my lame. uni frog. Okay. All right, I'll return the frog to the hand. The additional normal is a you can. So I will elect not to get the additional normal. And then uh, you are good to go, buddy. Just going to pass on that, huh? Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Uh, I will draw. Go to main one. So I know you have Econ Swap Frog. Uh, I'm imagining you discarded. Unless you're just, you know, completely blindsiding me and you have a third tree born. But, exactly. You know, could be anything, I guess. Honestly, I'll, I, I'm just, I'm going to set. Go, go ahead. <laughs> swap frog away, my friend. I'm gonna. Don't, don't tempt me. Okay, swap frog, we're gonna send, I don't know, uh, dupe frog, uh, combat. I'm gonna walk into your Raiko. Okay, it is Raiko. Uh, we'll pop the swap. You can pop your own monsters, you know, if you'd like. I to. can, but I would, I would elect to pop your swap. I, it's just personal preference. And then we'll mill three. Sounds good. Ooh, there's the. Oh, bio. perfect. Perfect. There's perfect. All right, second main, uh, you will see why I neglected to bring back the Treeborn. We're going to Pot of Avarice targeting everything. I see. This makes sense. Sure. God, Pot of Avarice is just such a good card. Ooh, that is a thinker. Okay, okay. I'm going to set one card, and you are good to go. We'll draw. Anything in standby? Nah. We'll go to main one. Uh, I'm going to flip another right go and pop the set. I will Econ to switch it to defense. <laughs> Sounds good, buddy. Uh, we're going to mill three more while we're at it. Let's hit some more values, please. Hey, I'm fine with yeah. all these hits. Yeah, that probably seems okay. Do I want to just go for it? We can start the Vayu action? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Uh, let's banish mm -hmm. Vayu for the effect. That's we'll get fine. rid of the Sirocco. And let's go for a nice armed wing. And I think I'm just going to go to battle and hit for 23. If you got gores, you got gores. I do not have gores. I do have battle fader. So I'll be activating. Okay, that sure. That's fine. So battle phase is ended as a result of that. It's pretty good. I will go to the second main. I suppose I will set another card mm -hmm. and I'll set a back row and throw it over to you. Okay. Stand by main. Interesting draw. Very interesting draw. Wow. Nice heavy storm. Does that nice heavy storm? Oh God. I wish I had that tell, but no, it's not. If it was heavy, I'd just slam that motherfucker down right yeah, now. Yeah, that's true. We're going to go for substitute. I will retain priority with this card. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to send Battle Fader to the graveyard. I'm going to summon a copy of Swap Frog. Sure. I'll trigger Swap Frog's effect. Okay, anything at resolution? All good. I will... Going to do the dance, buddy? <laughs> I don't know if I want to do the entire dance. I'm going to enemy controller, pitching my Swap Frog to take your armed wing here. That is fine. You may have them. And then I'll substitute. Now we will do the dance. Uh, swap Frog, sending okay. Treeborn. Oop. Sure. To the graveyard. Uh, swap frog sending dupe frog. Just got to get them all out. Then swap frog into dupe frog, substitute into dupe frog. Get the dupe frog lock up because since dupe frog is up, you can only attack him instead of other frogs. But if there's two up, you just can't attack anything. All right. Break my board, Zodiac. Back to you. Yeah, yeah, this will be fun. I'll draw. Yep. Uh, we'll head on to main one here. Mm -hmm. 
Well, there's a pretty easy way to break this slop, and that's flipping another Raikou. <laughs> no, no, no. Raikou won't do it. This card targets. It does not target. It also wouldn't matter. This isn't Watt Hopper. <laughs> I, I was about to say, I'm like, does this matter? I'm like, did I not read Dupe Frog? Yeah, so, we'll, we'll pop. Notably, Raikou is a card that targeted, then was eroded to not target because it didn't say it targeted, then was eroded back, and now has been eroded back again. Regardless of where we are temporally, this will destroy the Dupe Frog. <laughs> and I believe, does this cause it to miss timing? Oh, is this is this one of Dupe Frog's uh, banes of card design? So the unfortunate truth is that pretty much always Dupe Frog misses timing, but I'll just check right, right. here. Uh, yeah. Right. So, uh, Dupe Frog is, of course, only able to search if the very last thing that happened was uh, it was sent to the graveyard. This means that you can't use it to synchro material because the last thing that happened was a synchro summon. Here, the last thing that happened is going to be the Raikou Milling 3 card. Even though they happen simultaneously? Because it's not a then effect. It doesn't happen one then the other. I think that matters pretty significantly here. Nope, Dupe Frog will miss timing thanks to the geniuses at Dueling Revived. Forumotion.com. God, don't you love Yu-Gi-Oh? Such a great game. I mean, listen, if, uh, if we're wrong about this one, you can't blame us. Raikou and Dupe Frog are two of the most frustratingly confusing cards in the history of time. And continue to be even to this day. Uh, let's see. Those now, mills were kind of crappy, though. I'm a little happy about that. Yeah, they weren't fantastic. Greffer, Card Trooper, Book of Moon. I mean, eh, you got two in hand. You didn't really do much else aside from setting up the Dupe Frog lock. Did so, not. I'm going to sack off the Raikou for Caius. I'm Ooh. just going to ban the dupe. Jesus. All right, sure. We'll just take care of him that way. We'll go to bat all hit for 24. No big deal. I'll take it. And second main, I think I'm pretty good. I'll just pass it over. Ooh, wow. That's crazy. So standby phase, I'll trigger Treeborn Frog. And Moray of Greed. <laughs> Shuffle it away. What was in the hand? Oh, there's the boy. And a Unifrog. Okay, I was wondering if that got stuck in your hand considering you didn't mill it off the Substitute. Uh, yeah. Best I think, of luck, buddy. I think we only have a couple of targets remaining. Moray of Greed is... I drew it off the Moray of Greed. I hate this fucking card. <laughs> oh, wow. These are okay. Oh, God. Wow, do I pass again? I almost feel like I do. God, this deck is so slow. You could literally just sit here and do nothing for many, many turns. Not to mention, I'm out of Raikou, so. This is a little crusty because you can, of course, walk over my uh, Treeborn Frog with the Raikou, but I'll pass back. I can, indeed. And uh, maybe we will do that. I'll draw. Yep. Go into the main one here. Okay. Oh, I think I want to put the Raikou to attack. That does actually seem pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Still afraid of gores. You also do run Battle Fader, so I need to be mindful of that. I think I've got a play here. I'm going to normal summon Plague Spreader Zombie. No response. I'm going to sync up these two. I'm just going to go for a Stardust here. I think this is just generally a safer play. I think I'll just put the Raikou to attack and we'll just go into battle phase. Sure. Uh, we'll hit into Treeborn. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then 25, unless you have a battle fader. Do not. I will take that fatty cool. 25. Then we'll just pass it over. Go ahead. Stand by. I'm going to bring back this Treeborn Frog. Of course, he's back. All right, I'm going to set one pass. We'll draw. What would you set in this deck? You're out of frogs. Uh, Ronin is not out yet, correct? <laughs> oh, if Ronin was out, we'd be playing a different match. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to start this turn by activating Burial from a different dimension. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this allows me to put back the Vayu and the Sirocco, and so we can actually use them again here. Well, hold so on. I think this time... Oh, you can target yeah, something. up to three. Would you like to return my dupe frog to the graveyard? No, I would not like to return I, I, are your dupe sure, frog. Are you sure, man? I, I would really I'm appreciate sure. it. I'm sure. No, you don't, need, you don't need more stuff in the grave. No, I think you're fine. Let's go ahead then, and we're actually going to use Vayu again. This time, we're going to banish Armed Wing. Ooh, we're going to upgrade yep, here. Yep, here we go. We're going to bring out the good old Armor Master. Oh, this guy's an asshole. I mean, I just love the fact that, like, with Vayu, you just, like, sort of rank up into, like, the next synchro as long as, like, you can keep getting Vayu in the grave. It's, it's a little neat. silly. People remember Arbor Master as this really hard card to out, but in this deck, he has no effects. He's just got 200 more attack than Armed Wing. Basically. I mean, it's fine. It's good enough. And uh, I think with that, let's just go into the battle phase. Okay. We'll hit Treeborn. Yeah, unsurprisingly. We'll hit uh, your sec card. <laughs> you fool. You cannot possibly fathom. The fishboard blaster that I set! <laughs> and then we'll hit for 25 unless you got something. No, I don't. Do you have a Kalut? Okay. No, I do not have a Kalut. I wish. Uh, I, the, I would be jumping at the opportunity to slam that down on you, but uh, I'll just set one and pass. All right. Stand by phase. We're going to bring back the frog. Uh, I am actually going to Royal Oppression here and just negate it. Alex. I have it. Oh, do you? I do. 
Oh, <laughs> come on, dude. Oh, <laughs> I was so disciplined. Oh, I could have done it all. <laughs> so patient. And, so and patient. And it all came crashing down around me. Well, uh, that is uh, that is the end of game one. I can't beat Royal Precious. I'm not going to say it. The joke writes itself. Simo beating me with black wings and DM staples. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. I do think it's a little fitting that the Deep Sea King was defeated by the Royal Oppression, but, uh... Very poetic. Very poetic. I, I don't know, man. I ugh, I was so close. Don't worry. It won't happen again. Gonna let me go second. Oh. I'm kind of shocked. I feel like you'd want the battle phase. I don't give a fuck about the battle phase. All right. Uh, we're gonna start with the Swap Frog. Uh, swap Frog effect... We're going to send a Treeborn Frog to the graveyard. Sounds good. Uh, then we are going to return the Swap Frog to the hand. We are going to normal summon that Swap Frog and activate the effect. I'm going to dump a Dupe Frog. And then we will return the frog to the hand again. All right, go ahead. Exciting turn. Riveting. I'll draw. Uh, let's start with a reinforcement of the army. Go ahead. Let's grab a Dark Greffer. That's fine. Dark Greffer is pretty cool in this deck because we can pitch Sirocco when we draw it to special him out to the field. I actually don't think that's cool at all. I think it's great. Uh, I'm actually going to use the effect to pitch the copy of Vayu in my hand to send another Dark to the grave. Oh, I bet you it. will. I bet you you will. Uh, what are we going to go for here? What are we going to go for here? Uh, could send another Vayu. I'll send a Necro Gardener. So you opened Sirocco Vayu. That's okay. I mean, yeah, the Rota kind of brought the hand together, I'll be honest. Uh, let's banish the Vayu. Let's go for it. Yep. And let's bring out the good old Armed Wing. No uh, response. And we'll go to battle. I'll take five. Uh, this is just four, actually. Ooh, even better. Yeah, you got a little more life. Second main, I will set two. Throw it over to you. Go ahead. Stand by main. Psych. Not good at all. <laughs> all right, is this okay, or do you have a fucking royal oppression? No, you're good. You're good. Uh, funny about that with the royal oppression, uh, you could have just brought the treeborn frog back again because oh, it's not a once per turn. Well, that's very funny and would not have won me the game, unfortunately. It wouldn't have. I could have still oppression the coelacanth, so. Yeah, I hate this. I have to be disciplined. Well, discipline didn't win you the last game. So what makes you think it's going to win you this game? Oh, I didn't think about it that way. Okay, uh, treeborn frog to the grave. We're going to summon swap frog. Okay. And then we'll trigger the effect of the Swap Frog. Just trying to load up for that good old Pot of Avarice again. Return the uh, the Swap Frog to hand. I'm going to use my extra normal on Uni Frog. Is that okay? Sure, that's fine. We are going to go to battle phase. I'll attack directly. Uh, so if this attacks directly successfully, uh, you are able to destroy one of my spells or traps. Correct. How much do I care about that? Sad as this is, I'm going to Necro Garden of this. Wow. Okay, uh, second main. This is a little sussy. Uh, I'm gonna activate Fishborg Blaster. What are you pitching? Uh, Swap Frog. And we're gonna go one, two. Armory arm? Three, yeah, we're gonna make armory arm. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we are going to Avarice. Gets you all the monsters you need, sure. It's fine. We get to keep Treeborn and Fishborg, which is kind of sick. That's pretty sick, yeah. I, okay. I dig it. All right, how many normals have I done this turn? Uh, I still retain you... one normal because I used my extra for Unifrog. Correct. You specialed swap by pitching, then you use the extra on the Unifrog. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we will draw. Stand by main. Okay. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to activate Burial from a different dimension. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Put them all back. Yeah, that's fine. I will special summon Dark Arm Dragon. You're at three? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm dead! <laughs> Fuck, yeah, that's fine. I mean, again, you can still have gores. You can yeah, still yeah, have I stuff, can... so I'm not fully convinced. Uh, so the unfortunate part is, uh, if I do want a dad here, it is going to come at the cost of me losing, like, my value component. Oh, no. so... oh god, no. That's so sad, you know? Uh, so we're going to banish. We'll pop the set to start. It's a flip-flop. I would have preferred that card to remain on the field. And then, uh, do I want to keep the Necrogardna or the Vayu? Both good for their own reasons. I guess I'll keep the Vayu. So we're going to give it a Necrogardna. We'll just pop this. 
Sure. Go to battle. Do I fear gores is the question. Let's hit for 17. I'll just battle fader. Okay. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, it's something. Uh, second main, do I want to leave you with a battle fader up? That gives you tribute fodder to go for the big boy, which is a bit scary, if I'm being honest. I'll just set one and pass. Let's see what you got. I'm bringing the boy back in standby. All good. Ah, <laughs> fool! Oh, no. I activate giant true nade. Oh, yeah, this could get bad. I'm going to solemn judgment the true nade. That's fine. Solemn judgment, piece of shit. Okay, well, bring him out. Do or die. Down comes the boy. Down comes the boy. With so Kyle. you have priority here. What are you pitching? Unifrog. The avarice? You ready for the avarice? Unifrog, uh -huh. flip flop frog. Oh, perfect. Those are the exact draws that you needed. Oh, okay. Yeah, so exactly. you get to special summon as many level four or lower fish monsters as possible, but they can't declare enough attack and their effects are negated. All right. So we're going to get Royal Swamp Eel. Oystermeister, Fishborg, and Metabo Shark. Is that okay? It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, thinking. How are we going to survive this is the question. We got two tuners and two non-tuners, conveniently. Mm -hmm. I think everything is A-OK. -okay. You may proceed. All right. So the unfortunate part of this is if this set card is anything relevant, oh, am I fucked. Boy, I am fucked six ways from Sunday. But you would tell me, right, if it's relevant? Of course, absolutely. That's why I would judgment on your true nade to protect it, right? Right, of course. So the problem here is the normal combo uh, is I go Oystermeister and Fishborg Blaster to Armory Arm, equip it to one of your monsters, s send the two to the graveyard to make a Colossal Fighter, and then use the Colossal Fighter to ram into your monster repeatedly, uh, dealing 28 to you every time I do so. That's not possible with this setup. Uh, and that's because I'm missing the Armory Arm because I had to make it super early to get a Pot of Avarice off. I also don't have any cards in hand, which makes recurring the Fishborg Blaster impossible, which is otherwise a good way to get some additional Synchro monsters on field. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> we could have, instead of Metabo Shark, gotten an Oystermeister. That enables us to make make a five and a seven instead of a six and a seven. I don't know what the fuck I would want to do that for. The only five I'm playing is Magical Android. I've got Cataster in here as well. How good is Cataster versus your deck? Oh, it's fantastic against a deck made of all darks. All right, listen. <laughs> if the set card is returned from burial, it, it's not burial. Because if it was burial, you would have chained the burial and let the solemn die and just not taken 4,000. If it's bottomless trap hole, well, ain't that just shit? If it's bottomless trap hole, <laughs> I'm upset. You know, that's just the way it is. To be fair, if it was bottomless trap hole, you know, I think I, you know, there could be, I don't know. Would, would I bottomless a coelacanth? I don't know. Yeah, you would probably wait for me to commit to a synchro because I can do it with priority. I have the line, but it's not pretty. We are going to go. Let's see how ugly it is. Royal Swamp Eel and Oystermeister into Black Rose Dragon. Do you have a response to the summon? Oh, you're going to nuke? I mean, that's a line. I have nothing to the summon. Are you going to activate the effect? Ah, uh, I should. I have a treeborn frog. I'm so favored if I pop. You've got the Vayu engrave, and I don't want to play Vayu V super armed wing over and over again. I'm not going to pop. You're not going to pop? Yeah. Wow. I think that's fine then, actually. We're going to trigger the effect of the Oystermeister. That's going to give us a token. Shh. Sure. So the token you produce is a level one token? It is a level one fish type oyster token, yes. Correct. And this gives you the fodder to make potentially a level six synchro here if you'd so wish. Which I so wish. Uh, we're going to try to make okay. Goyo Guardian. Ooh, that's a pretty good one, I hear. Yeah. Dog, if it's Mirror Force exactly, I'm going <gasps> to throw a fucking fit. If, it, if I worked this hard for this combo and it's Mirror Force exactly, <laughs> look at how good this board is. I get to eat your entire board, crash with the Dark Armed, eat the uh, Dark Greffer, Goyo Guardian, the Armed Wing. You don't have material for the Vayu and Grape because you banished the Necro Guard. If it's Mirror Force exactly, priority number one is getting the dad off the field. Coelacanth into the dad. Thinking. <sighs> Oh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? I'll put you at ease. It's not Mirror Force. I figured. I figured you would have <laughs> slapped that up and giggled like the fucking Joker. You would have laughed you straight to the bank. You don't think I'd be slow rolling you? You don't think I'd be slow rolling you? I don't know. I, I don't know. I think not. I'm going to book the coelacanth. Yo, this is really crusty for you then. Yeah, it's awkward because you have Goyo. Exactly. I was trying to see if there'd be a way that you wouldn't have two things that could kill dad. Because I could have obviously booked like the Fishborg Blaster and prevented you. But then you would still crash anyway. I was seeing if you would maybe get into a point where I would just have to book something to protect the dad. Because then dad 
dad can just nuke your entire board. Do you go after Dark Arm with the Goyo, or do you go after the Armed Way? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that awkward. <laughs> I know, I know, I know what the choice so, is. Go ahead. Here's the scenario. Um, I Goyo into your Dark Armed, uh, I Black Rose into your Dark Greffer. Uh, the Goyo crashes, and now you have to decide if you want to spend your Armed Wing attack, sending it to the graveyard into the Black Rose Dragon, and then being able to activate the Vayu in Grave, or if you want to eat my Coelacanth and potentially die to some bullshit on the Crackback. Uh, so, you know. Good luck. I get a draw. That could change things significantly. That did not change things significantly. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I have to kill Coelacanth. If I don't, I probably am dead immediately. So we'll get rid of him. I'll set one. Go ahead. So crusty. So unfortunately, if you had booked at a different time, I could have even negated with Coelacanth, but... That's the other problem too. I couldn't book Coelacanth while you had fish monsters up because of his actual other effect that is relevant. <laughs> okay, standby, we'll get back our friend. Yep, Treeborn's back. What do you got? Mm, not much. I don't know, what if I... No Coelacanth number two? I just go to combat, you make your guy. The larger man does walk over Black Rose. That's annoying. It doesn't really out the Treeborn frog? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I don't think anything really outs Treeborn. Frog. I'll take the hundred. Sure. You want to spend your turn doing that? Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. We'll draw. Ooh. We're going to start by doing the obvious here, unless you have a response. No response. Okay. So we'll bring out the armor master. There he is. We will go to the battle phase. We'll hit over the black rose. Sure. I'll take a hundred here. You will take a hundred. Second main. I think if there's anything else I want to do here. We've got treeborn. You've got one in hand. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna tribute for Vanity's Fiend. Oh my Good luck. God. Draw, stand by main. The fuck do you want me to do about that? Well, I'll, I'll let you know right now, you were dead if you didn't Vanity's Fiend. That, uh, oh, really? Okay, well, that feels good. Given feels that draw, good. Jesus, wow, that is a real stinker. If only I had a... Can I just say, this has been a blast. This has like, been, just, I'm this having has been so such a good game. much fun. This has been such I'm a good game. I'm having so much fun. And it's not over. You can still win, and we might have a game three. All right, we're going to go salvage here. Okay, sure. I'm going to grab... I really want some of these. You might be eyeing yourself. I'll grab Flip Flop, and let's grab Uni Frog as well. Okay. Could be anything. Go ahead. Could be anything. We'll draw. I, I need to like actually start killing you, but as long as you have more monsters, that's not going to happen very quickly. Mm. Let's hit. Uh, guess what it is. Shocker. Now, question. Does this it, flip? Does this trigger on flip? It does, yes. Because does it have to be flipped up like So unlike a... the Pac-Man, this card does not say when this card is flip summoned. Whenever it's flipped face up, it'll trigger. And that includes... Gotcha. Now. Okay. So that will bounce this. That is fine. Uh, second main, I'll set one and pass. Go ahead. Stand by main. Oh, good. That's a very strange draw. Okay, uh, I'm going to... What is the set card? It's Raiko? Could be anything. It's probably just a Vayu. Probably is just a Vayu. You're right. I didn't think about it that way. We're going to go for Fishborg Blaster here, if that's okay. Uh, I will Oppression. <sighs> wow. You're an asshole! <laughs> But also, That's all I need to care about losing the vanity speed. This is terrible for you, buddy. What are you going to do? Probably not great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not fantastic. Uh, okay. Um, what if I go for it again? I put you at 16. No, that's terrible. Uh, I'm going to normal summon Unifrog and go to combat. Sure. Get direct here. Uh, Yeah, Unifrog is very annoying with this. It will out it. So I'll take four and you're going to pop the oppression. I'll think about it. Oh, you actually don't want to? Do I want to pop the oppression? Look how good the oppression is for me. It is reciprocal. So, like, if you Raiko and you mill a Vayu, suddenly I'm fucked. Unless I have the oppression on field. In which case, I'm not. But again, I do want to warn you, my hand is really fucking sick. The one card in your hand that we don't know. If it's Raiko, you flip Raiko, you pop my Unifrog, go to combat, walk over the Treeborn Frog, passes back to me, I Treeborn you out. Uh, you can't Royal Oppression the Treeborn, but you can Royal Oppression a second monster that I want to get back. But if I Normal Summon anything, you're just dead dead. What are the chances? I'll let it live. Go ahead. I'll draw. Yep. You're correct. It is Raiko. Yep. We'll pop this. Yep. Mill three. And it's the Vayu. Oh, just like how you wrote it Girl, up. Girl, let's go. Did you forget I have the Vanity's Fiend? No, I have plans for the Vanity's Fiend. Sounds good. Uh, we'll just hit over that then. We'll pass. Go. All right. Stand by main. Ooh, oh, wow. Good. That's a strange one. Okay, go ahead. Stand by main. Uh, how much of a clock do I want to put on you here? 
I can sink in the 24. You could have battle fader so that I could just completely nullify any plan there. Uh, actually, no, it can't because you can't special summon. Right. Let me actually remember how this card works. Uh, fine, we'll go in. I'm going to normal summon super nimble mega hipster. Damn, there he is. We'll hit. Uh, 3,500 here? 35. Can't game you, but it's not the end of the world. Go ahead. All right. Stand by main. Oh, good. What do you got? Uh, we will set this bad boy and you're good to go. We'll draw. Let's try it. <laughs> it is swap frog. Gores in hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Royal oppression. Let's go. Let's such go. A fucking match. Oh. <laughs> Well, you know, it's upsetting that Royal Oppression ended up determining the outcome of both of these games because these were really fun. These were. These were. We could do a game three. I'm down, buddy, if you want, but that's up to you. Oh, I, that's I would absolutely you. do a game three for sure. Let's do it. Roll the, roll the transition. Let's do it. Let's just do it, buddy. I'm so excited. I will I will give you the pleasure of picking what you want. Dude, I appreciate uh, so, that. I'm going Yeah, first. you know, it's it's the consolation prize. I figured you'd want to go first. So let, let's see this deck in action. Let's go. We got to see actually it do pretty well in the last episode or, or the last match, I would say. But yeah, let's see how uh, it goes. Wow. Ooh, this is um this is a hand. I'll 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 say that. All right, go ahead. A hand of set pass, I see. Oh, uh, what right. do you want me to do? Uh, it's not like there's any uh synchro monsters that actually accomplish anything at this point in time. Right. Uh I will set two back row as well as my set monster. Go ahead. Stand by me. I'm going to normal substitute. Go for it, buddy. Beep, 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 beep. All right, uh swap frog effect, we're going to send treeborn. Swap frog effect, we are going to send treeborn. Swap frog Effect, we are going to send Unifrog. Swap Frog, uh, effect to add to hand. Uh, we're going to Swap Frog for an extra normal and trigger the effect to send a dupe. Sounds good. You don't get the Oyster Meister trigger because that's only from field. And from here, we will go Substitute, send Flip Flop, Substitute sure. into dupe. Substitute into dupe. Salvage. Ooh, yeah, that's good. We'll add back flip flop, and uh, I guess we'll take uni as well. Sounds good. All right, we are going to use our extra normal to set one frog card. Could be anything. It could be. Anything. Could be anything. Could be anything. And uh, you are good to go, my friend. Sure. I will draw for turn. Yep. We'll head on to main one. Let's flip the Raikou, pop the flip flop. <laughs> You're simply too good, dude. I mean, you are simply too good. Yeah, Raikou's just been glued to my hand this game. Okay, uh, well, at no least there's no Vayu that time. Unfortunately. Yeah, uh, we'll sack the Raikou for a Caius. Mm. We'll banish one of the dupes. Sure. Uh, I'm just going to hit into the other one. Ooh, I actually get to trigger it. You uh, do. Or at least I would if I had any targets remaining in deck. Well, it goes from Grave as well. You're welcome for telling me. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I will get a swap frog. Sounds good. Uh, second main, I don't got much else going on. Go ahead, buddy. Stand by, we'll go for Treeborn. I'm gonna go Moray of Greed. Favorite card, sure. These two. So you're, Joseph, you're just gonna draw them again. I know, I mean, I, I'm really shuffling my hardest. Shuffling my hardest here. Okay, heavy one time. Um, That's not heavy, but you know, uh, someday it could be. Could be. Gold Sark's fine. Yeah, we're gonna banish uh, heavy. Sounds good. See you in two turns, buckaroo. Uh, I'm going to set one card, and you are good to go. We'll draw standby main. Uh, I'm going to sack Caius for another Caius. Awesome. <laughs> you want to go for the Treeborn or the set card? I'm debating. I don't know what the set is. If I'm on that it's flip-flop, it's probably just better. Does flip-flop count itself? It does count itself. It does count itself? Okay, yeah, we'll banish the set then. It is Fishborg Blaster. Blaster, okay. I mean, you have another frog anyway, so right, like, it's not like I'm changing the outcome. Go ahead. One on the Heavy Storm, and let's bring back the Treeborn as well. Ooh, that's a sure. really fucking crusty draw, actually. Hmm. I just hope you're drawing all of the Coelacanth cards. I don't know. I really don't have anything else to do. Go ahead. Uh, next turn is when you can go off, which is pretty scary. I will just hit. Yep. Doesn't accomplish much. Uh, second main, I'll just set and pass. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Stand by. Let's grab that heavy storm back. Would you like your treeborn frog as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's fine with you. Fine by me. Exiting standby. 
Uh, heavy storm. Thinking what I want to do here. Oh, you little judgment motherfucker. I don't have judgment. So it was an MST. I have this book and I want to fire this, but I don't know what I want to set. Oh, I see what you mean. Setting your tree board doesn't really accomplish much, I don't think. I mean, it gives you like one less material to work with, but if you're just going to sack it for coelacanth anyway, like it doesn't matter. There is an argument actually to set Caius because I know you're on econ. So if I actually do that, it prevents you from getting a six to work with for synchro plays. Eh, fuck it. I'll set him. If I'm getting coelacanth anyway, I mean, might as well use it. I'm gonna go Fishborg Blaster. Uh, we're gonna sure. pitch Metabo Shark. Summon the Fishborg Blaster back, and we're going to salvage. Uh, I want back the Flip Flop, and I will take a Swap Frog. Sounds good. All right, now we are going to go for coelacanth. There he is. Go nuts, buddy. Right, we're gonna trigger coelacanth. We're gonna send the uh, Flip Flop. Okay, so we drew the Metabo, so it's a little crusty. Uh, we have to go... We drew a lot of our fishes this game. This is actually all we have left. Wow, Ooh, so drew bad. the meta bow and you have no other target because last time you went for Fishborg Blaster, but there's one Engrave and one Banish. That's a huge problem. Uh, okay. Um, you can get Fishborg Blaster back. Which I will. Uh, we will send this one for one to the graveyard. I think we're out of targets sure. for that as well. Uh, we're going to go Fishborg Blaster and Meister here for Armory Arm. Uh, we'll trigger... Get your token. So, um, you're not dead here, uh, because you booked the Caius. I can't do the armory arm combo. That's the other reason I did it. Yep. Okay. Uh, instead, I think we're just going to go for, uh, magical android. Sure. Uh, we are going to go ahead and armory arm on the coelacanth. So the coelacanth is 3,800 now? Yeah, we'll go to combat. I'll attack into what I know is the Caius. So then I'll take 24 from this, correct? Yep. Due and to the armory arms effect. This better not be a Ryko, buddy. I'm just telling you right now, this better not be a Ryko. I would, would tell you if you it's a Ryko, it Joseph. A Ryko. Yeah. Uh, it's not Ryko, but it's Mega Hamster. That is also Ryko. Hmm. This is basically Ryko with extra steps, yes. It's okay, I can negate the effect with coelacanth because as we both know, this card targets. Uh, okay, well in that case, I will proceed to end step and trigger the effect of magical android, gaining 600. 600 life points, sounds good. We'll draw. Main one, oh boy. Let's start with this Ryko, mill three. Um, I'm gonna Ooh, pop. Those are three good ones. Just pop the coelacanth, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Android's not that big of a deal. Take care of that. That's a bit awkward. I think I can make it work though. I'm going to normal summon an Armageddon Knight. Oh, that's pretty good. Yep. Let's dump a Sirocco. This allows me to then use the Vayu that I milled off the Ryko, and we're gonna go for an Armed Wing. Yep. Okay, uh, Android's still up. Got to deal with that. Okay, we're gonna drop Dad now. Oh, son of a gun! I you had, had to Dad mute. the I kind whole of, time. Yeah, I it, I milled too many darks with the Ryko, so thankfully the Armageddon Knight helped me get it out of it. Uh, we're gonna use Dad. Let's get rid of the Android. The question is, like, can I kill you? I don't think I can You're pretty because close. oh, I I might be able to kill you if you don't have Battle Fader Rigors, but like that's you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, let, let's see that actually happen, right? So what do I have right now? I have 51, 61, 65, 67. So that's not lethal, but it's not far off. So I'm gonna special summon Gale because I do control Armed Wing. Jeez. So this brings me to a total of 8,000. So I still can't kill you, but uh, I can actually sync these two up mm -hmm. with the Ryko off the field. I mean, I guess I can make a Cataster. 51, 71, 73. This is enough to kill you, but again, uh, this is assuming there's no Battle Fader, which is pretty unlikely to be the case, if I'm being honest. So we'll go to battle. Show me the Battle Fader. Is this enough to kill me? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah. Yes, because it's 51, 71, 73. Yeah, sure. Second main. I think I'll just pass on this. All right, I do have some uh, draws that do it. Let's see them. Stand by, I'll bring the boy back. Hmm. So start of main one, I'm going to go cold wave. Sure, no All response. Right. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Wow. No, so, That was um, so much fun, though. That was I a mean... blast. Uh, game three, I um I drew into Metabo Shark and one of my two Oyster Micers, which drastically decreased the reach of the combo. I had a Swap right. Frog line that could have maybe gotten me out of it if you had kept your Caius face up. But even then, it's a big maybe because Royal Swamp Eel is a piece of ass. While Fishborg Blaster can make any synchro with any monster as long as they're water, Swamp Eel can only sync with other fish monsters. So drawing, oh, that's right. drawing the Metabo means you need to sync it with an Oystermeister. So we would have to have, like, climbed to the, uh... 
Colossal Fighter, which is pretty much impossible to do at this point in time. I don't sure. think I had a really convincing line to a six either that uh, would have uh, like let me flex Brio, but wow, what a what a six series of games and what a good oh, representation sure. of a. Uh, why, uh, you know, um, time really did a number on these decks. I mean, if you look at the stuff we were playing last time, it was like we, we were almost considering Doom Caliber Gadget. You know, we had yeah. Gravekeeper Burn, Vayu Turbo. What a powerhouse of a deck. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this deck, as soon as I saw it, I was just so excited because it, yes, it has black wings, but it only plays six of them. And the mm -hmm. rest of it, it just plays a lot of the good stuff, dark cards that we've seen up until this point. This and Fish OTK takes this to a completely different level, but these decks are hard. They're, they're there are so many shit. different lines. Like there were so many points where you and I were taking literal minutes to think about like all the different possibilities just based off of our graveyards being loaded and all the different lines that we could have taken taken it was it was fun and i love the mental exercise of just having to do these gymnastics to figure out what's going to happen if he has battle fader what happens if there's gores like can i actually survive the crackback and i just love the interplay that these decks had and i think this is indicative of like why so many people love edison format between this and the previous episode and probably the next episode or two that we're going to dive into edison format even further i can't get enough of this like i could play these decks all day and you know i would just be totally okay with it Oh, I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving it. And uh, I think the complexity of the decks is probably why they didn't ever exist historically, right? Like, no one was tinkering with Coelacanth uh, in 2011. Uh, and that's because, like, sitting out and labbing a fish line, especially with such a limited synchro pool, it's difficult. Right. And, uh, you know, this is a frog deck without Ronin Toten. This is a Fishborg Blaster deck without Formula Synchron. It's difficult to make these lines. It's difficult to play the deck. And uh, as a result, people just missed it when it came out. They were like, yeah, 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 gadgets are good. Quick Draw was innovative and interesting, difficult to play, but um, really the only thing that required this level of brain power at the same time. I am glad we got to show these two off. These are, <laughs> these are such perfect uh, encapsulations of our play style. Me on a garbage ass janky <laughs> OTK strategy that wins in one turn. You on a black wing strategy with teeth and also with dad. Uh, it's just so cool. I love both of these. I'm so glad we got to show them. And I love it too because so many of these different decks play from a different pool of cards, right? Like mm -hmm. not every deck at this time is playing dad. Right. And like with the fish OTK, it's an entire strategy on on its own and it's fine. Like, I mean, there's so many different, like, just varying decks that aren't just taking from the exact same pool of cards. And that's what I love when a format just is so diverse that way that we get to see a wheel like we saw that we spun for today, a wheel like we saw in the last episode. I think that makes for some of the best Yu-Gi-Oh! And honestly, down in the comments, guys, you should let us know if you want to see more of this, because as you saw on the wheel this week and last week, if you tuned in, we still have plenty of decks to cover. We do still need to bring you one of the best, if not the best deck of the format, the Quick Draw Dandy warrior deck and we will before we exit 100 percent but we can stay in here another week or two and if you guys want to see it joseph and i will happily oblige oh man i'm i'm not even upset about being in the show to shame this this was so fucking fun i had a great so time fun. <laughs> so fun i'm ecstatic for next week when we get to bust these decks out again hell yeah so guys that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. we have to shout out our patrons as always a big shout out to shout 1317 moto sean arling jr cameron smith then gayoka tim 00 x3 ike iron fake pony starkey and musa michael dente part two dan the man hoban sicker guy ole mystic walk sylvia wads draconic rock slide dolly wop logan thomas peter gregory thomas delson cold t jordan coons kelvin iron blades and pure ace jesse wood true nerd guys a brother paul chris hood lumpy nehru celeste david lee rockley 325 yusuf asa 05 Lane Rogers, Chat God, Saudi 216, I side in Grand Maju and Salad, Sky Rose, Dylan Hunter, Brett Harvey, John Tubase, Apathy Astro, Brody East with Day Sir, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Gimme Speed Order, Gimme Death, MBT's Hard Leg, TC Gaming, Matthew Brady, and of course, Edison Format. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.